It may look a bit like the surface of the moon, but with construction of the new Coquitlam transfer station underway, this unusual landscape is part of the transformation. You won't recognize this site by the time we're done with it. There's going to be a number of uh, improvements that not only uh, improve access to the site, but encourage uh, sustainable transportation options and beautify the site as well, including uh, improvements to the roadway, a multi-use path in the front, some really great trees, as well as lighting along the roadway. The new transfer station will replace the existing nearby facility, which is on leased land that's scheduled for redevelopment after the lease expires in 2020. Building at this location, on the site of the former Coquitlam landfill, is also a smart land use decision. So the siting of the facility on the old Coquitlam landfill here, uh, which is a brownfield site, is an important sustainability feature because it decreases development pressure on other greenfield areas. But what about those piles of dirt? They represent an innovative use of material that used to go to waste. We're at the west edge of the transfer building pad. And this material here is bottom ash that started out as trash but was incinerated at the waste energy facility in South Burnaby. And in this case uh, has been put to work a second time uh, and it's being used to construct the ground features that are needed for this facility. The design of the entire transfer station, from traffic flow to landscaping, not only brings service improvements for residential and commercial users, but also energy use reductions and support for local plants and wildlife. The design keeps commercial users, residential users, and recycling customers separated, which makes for more efficient and safer operation. We've incorporated some interesting features into the transfer building itself, including uh, LED lighting. This is going to reduce the amount of energy required to light the facility and uh, reduce our carbon footprint in the process. In terms of the landscaping design for the facility, what we've decided to do is use a lot of uh, native species, uh, as well as working to eliminate some of the invasives that we've found on the site. Construction on the new Coquitlam transfer station is scheduled for completion in 2020.